Hey guys, um, today I'm going to go over a few of the command line basics um, for Windows. Basically using the command prompt uh, in Windows to to navigate and do all the things that you would do inside a terminal in Linux, but in, in Microsoft Windows. Okay, so the first way that we can launch a command prompt in Windows 7, of course, is to go down to the, to the uh, start button. And down here in search, we can type CMD. Now that's our command. Okay, we hit enter, and our command is going to display. But if we do it that way, we're only going to have user access. We don't have administrator access. Okay, so in order to run this command prompt with administrator rights and administrator privileges, we have to go to our command prompt, right click it from either the shortcut or go back down here and type CMD and right click that. And then we're going to hit run as administrator. Okay, then it's going to ask us, and we're going to hit yes. Okay. So now we've got, you can see administrator up here, and we're in our system32 folder. We don't really want to be in that folder. It's a dangerous folder to play around in. So we're going to get out of it um, by using this, the change directory command, which is cd. Okay. But we're going to use cd to go all the way back to our C drive, okay? In order to go all the way back as far as we possibly can, we use cd forward slash. Okay, that takes us all the way back to the front. We can't go back any further. Alright, so maybe I want to start navigating throughout the directories. What do I do? Well, first I want to list the files. To do that, I'm going to hit dir. And that will list all of the files that I can I can move I can either open or I can navigate to. As you can see, there's a list on the left with a dir enclosed in these little symbols. That means it's a directory you can move to. Okay. If it doesn't have it, it means it's a, a executable file or or one you can open. It's a it's a data file. Okay. So I'm going to navigate into my users folder. So I'm going to hit cd for change directory, and then users. All right. Let's list the contents in that directory. Okay, so we see a couple files, and I want to navigate to Kyle, which is my main, basically my home folder. I'm CD Kyle. Alright. So, the terminal's getting a little cluttered. I want to clear it. If I want to clear this, the terminal screen, I hit CLS. And voila, everything is cleaned up. We've got a fresh terminal, and I'm in, I'm in the directory that I want to be in. I'm going to hit DIR again, just to show what I have. And our home, our home user home folder is basically where everything is kept, our music, our pictures, our documents. So you're going to see a lot of stuff in your home folder. Alright? Now, maybe I want to go back to my users folder, which is one back. I don't want to go all the way back to my C drive folder, but I just want to go back to the users folder. I wouldn't hit this CD forward slash because it's going to take me all the way back and then I'm going to have to navigate forward again to my users. So instead, I'm going to use CD space dot dot or period period. And it's only going to take me back one folder. Okay. If I list the contents. You can see that there's that Kyle folder that I was just in before I went back. Um, okay, so that's that's just some basic, really basic navigation, um, and kind of something to get you guys started on on moving around inside the terminal, and and getting administrator access. Of course, in in like a Linux environment, you would be using the sudo command to get root or administrator access whereas in Windows it's graphical and you need to run it as an administrator by right clicking it and hitting run as administrator okay so be sure to watch the next videos and, and, the, and the following ones about learning a little more about the terminal Thanks.